in this question we have a uniform rod of ma of length of length l and mass m and it is pivoted at a point that is at a distance of n by 3 from its center of mass so in the first part of the question you have to find the moment of inertia about the pivot which is at n by 3 distance from its center of mass we know that uh, moment of inertia about the center of mass for a uniform rod is 1 by 2 n square so if we use parallel axis theorem parallel axis theorem the moment of inertia of the pivot will be equal to icm plus m into d square here d is equal to n by 3 so i pivot will be equal to icm so that is that will be equal to n square plus m n by 3 square so this comes out to be i pi weight comes out to be 7 m n square by 36 in the second part of the question we have been asked the angle frequency of the small isolation if the the uh, rod makes small isolations about the pivot then we have to find its angular frequency so for angular frequency the formula is part b for angular frequency the formula is m g d upon m g d upon i so here we know the value of i i pivot and uh, mass mon m g is uh, into g and d that is the pivot uh, n by 3 and the i is of the rod uh, from the center of mass is m square by 12 here i is equal to icm so omega will be equal to m g n into 12 upon 3 mn square so the final answer uh, the omega if we substitute further the value of g and first for the uh, omega will come out to be 4 g upon n or substituting the value of g that is 9.8 the value comes out to be if uh, we leave it as it is let us leave it as it is omega comes out to be g upon n uh, 2 under root g upon n so this was the answer in the third part of the question we have been said if it has to be used for a pendulum whose time period is equal to one second or it completes one second and one second then what should be the length of the rod so we know t is equal to 2 pi upon omega and uh, so time period will be equal to 2 pi upon omega the value of omega we know under root mg d upon icm so time period time period will be equal to time period which is equal to 1 second 1 will be equal to 2 pi 2 pi mn square into 3 upon 12 m g l this will change to be 2 pi under root icm upon mgd so this comes out to be this uh, as you saw above so length will come out to be 1 upon pi square into g and this comes out to be 9.8 upon pi square will be 9.87 and uh, so the length comes out to be 0 0.9929 meters this was the final answer thank you